Uh, I, I found uh, some some facts about you uh, sort of interesting. Uh, mm. the, the, read the the one about the uh, the burn. Why unit. get you you talk about why getting in an electrical explosion and sitting in a burn unit for fifty seven days was work. the best thing that ever happened to you? Yeah, I talk, went to work out of high school at a local power plant, and um, I worked there three years, and then I went to Marine Corps Reserve and spent two years active in the Marine Corps. Then came back, and we were building uh, two units of coal power plants down in Chent, Kentucky. And I went back into operations, and I was there for about a, about a year and a half, I guess, when uh, I had a 4160 breaker. Your house electric is 220, and I was working with 4,160 volts. And I took a piece of equipment out of service, and I was putting it back in, and the breaker blew on me. And I was dead smack in front of it. And um, I ended up getting uh, burns 51% of my body. Oh my God. And spent 57 days in a burn unit, two years in a rehab. And uh, burn unit is 57 days of hell. Right? So, um, I can tell a lot of stories. But here's a couple of things it did for me. You lay in bed, and the first 25 days, I laid face down with my head gained about 10 pounds, swelling, not knowing if you're going to live or not. And, um, you know, you... Um, you learn who you are, and um, you know it, it really did was the best thing that ever happened to me. Not saying working at the power plant all my life is bad or whatsoever, but real estate has really gave me a, a unbelievable life. I'm an old farm boy. I grew up in a county. I grew up as a poorest county, one of the poorest counties in Kentucky. And you know I didn't know I was poor until I was a senior in high school because we on a farm. You ate well. You had a two acre garden and things but you know I, I've been in 47 out of 50 states I've traveled to Europe I've done quite a few different things and that's one of the reasons I teach is is, is a way to get back because real estate has given me such a successful life to be able to do my goals what I want to do and uh, you know it's um, it's kind of like when I said before when you problem solve you bump into a problem you step back you go around I mean, I had two years of rehab. I had to learn how to walk again. I remember taking that first step. Oh, my gosh. They felt like 15,000 needles in my legs when they stood me up for the first time. And uh, it was orderly laughing at me and said, come on, little boy. Come on, little boy. Take a walk with me. And, you know, just learning to do that. And, um, you know, you never give up. You so, never give so you, up. So you weren't a realtor when that happened? No, no, I was not. I was... Uh, <laughs> How I got into real estate with a good friend of mine, Jeff Smith, was, and I was a former jock, I played a lot of ball, and I played softball in 38 states. I mean, we played at a very high level in the open division. And uh, Jeff played golf two days a week. He played softball three days a week. He traveled with us on the weekends. And I'm going, you know what? He's got a good lifestyle. I don't know what he does, but, you know, he, he does all this. And he drives a nice car, has a nice house, and uh, I, I got to looking into it. Well, what I didn't take in effect was he had been in the business 10 years and had built up a great referral base. And, um, you know, my first couple of years, I struggled. I made $5,000 in 1986 my first year. Um, in 1987, I made 27. But I really, in 88, something majorly happened to my life is um, I went to the first NAR convention. It was out in San Francisco. And I've only missed 2012, the only one I've missed since. So what, so what year was that, 2005? Uh, no, it had been uh, 1988. 1988, oh, 1988 is okay. when I started going to the NAR convention about San Francisco. Okay. And that's where I met Pat Zabey, that's where I met Bill Barrett, that's where I met Howard Brenton. And all these men came mentors to me. And these were instructors. And you back then in 88, when, if you sold 100 houses, I mean, you were a rock star. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it was it was unheard of, and it gave me, you know, it was like, hey, man, I could do this. My competitiveness took over. I jumped in, and um, you know, I've gone to every one since then, except for 2012. I was on the operating table, get my back cues. But I mean, you know, like in the last four years, I've had some health issues. I've missed about three months every um, year the last four years of uh, health, but I've still, you know, sold over 100 houses. Had you ever been depressed? There was something uh, that we saw fighting depression or? Uh, depression is a wicked monster. It is a wicked monster. Um, it, um, I got married late in life. 
and unfortunately got married, uh, divorced <laughs> late night quick, pretty quick. It was a couple of years. Uh, the wife decided she didn't want to be married. And uh, I'll be honest, uh, I've got a young lady who works for me, Melanie Sullivan, who's been with me uh, 18 years now. And if she was not involved uh, keeping the business alive, because I, uh, I was there in body for three years, but I wasn't there in spirit. Uh, it, you know, I, 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 I can't even tell you what happened in years 2006, seven, and eight. Um, you know, I know the market's just changing. Um, you know, from there in 2008, I took a loss on the business and everything. But you know, we kept it going. 